realized there was um, little or no representation of black people in medical literature. And that was what my interest in making those drawings. There have been um, a whole lot of cases where the physician, where doctors misdiagnose a patient because he or she is not familiar with a particular skin con con condition on a black patient. And, and that's because during his or her training medical school, he or she wasn't exposed to black drawings. He or she wasn't exposed to how this condition would have represented on a black on a black skin. I mean, there are, there are a whole lot of cases where medical students in training, uh, where the, the teacher or the lecturer would say, um, uh, in quotes, um, this condition would represent like uh, would um, would represent this way on the black skin. But the question is, how do they represent? You just tell them that like, the boy, you do not show the picture of how it represents. So this was a problem in medical school, and medical students had, uh, I mean, just took that as a norm because nobody uh, thought it wise to question the fact or uh, to ask, can we see how this represents? And this has resulted in a lot of conditions, a lot of situations where patients um, were misdiagnosed and, they came, and their situation got very worse. I started drawing officially with pen and pencil 2014. But the very first day I started drawing medical illustrations was last year, July, during the lockdown. That's July 2020. So I've been, uh, and I'm a self taught artist and a self taught medical illustrator. Yes, it's, it's very intentional because, uh, well, it's amazing to know that, that the white are not apologizing for drawing their white skin. Then as a black person, I shouldn't apologize for drawing a black person. Because, I mean, I'm trying to represent my skin. So as the whites, because, I mean, all what the white gave, gave to us was their skin color. And somebody had to change that. And so I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, being, uh, what I say, uh, apolo uh, uh, what I say, apologizing for drawing a black person. Because that's why, um, and that's um, what I want to represent. So people who say um, why it has to be black. So I, I think the question should be why shouldn't it be black? Because I'm a black person, then I have to do what is black, of course. Yeah. so amazing like so so overwhelmed because i mean now this go for me i have started it since august okay and it was very slow i mean for like month i had just about uh, 500 pounds for like and i was depressed so ha having to raise twice of what i needed for medical school in the space of one week i mean shocked me and i was so emotional about that i mean i, I just I was amazed, I was amazed. Yeah. yeah, my future plan and project is, um, so I, I'm working from, by next year to produce a test book, okay, that would show um, uh, defect or disease in children and they're all gonna be drawn in blasting. So I, I, my project to start first with children, then I'll go to the women and then I'll go to the men then um, on and on, and um, then I also want to start an initiative to train Africa because I know that most Africans are not aware of such skills. But I mean, if, so, if that's a skill that they could leverage on and to make a career out of it. So I, I want to start an initiative that will train Africans and, and not only train them, but empower them also with, with required gadgets and tools to make a living out of it. So that's my big dreams, my big goals in the next future.